Well, I was all set to go out in a blaze of glory. In my last video, I made the CEO of YouTube, Adolf Hitler, and the trust and safety team a room full of Nazis. And that was just going to be the beginning of the last days of my channel. I wanted to make a bunch of videos making fun of the YouTube trust and safety team for taking down my videos until the trust and safety team ended up taking down one of the videos, making fun of them. I think it would be pretty funny for them to take down a video in which I'm making fun of them for taking down my videos. If my channel is going to die, that's how I want it to die. By the way, if you're ever confused by any of the stuff I do, please remember the Wood family motto is and always shall be, if you're going to walk on thin ice, you might as well dance. So, my channel was dying and I was going full kamikaze. But things have suddenly changed. Three days ago, I had two live strikes. Three live strikes and your channel is gone. And I knew it wouldn't take long for them to give me my third strike because they were serving me strikes like pancakes. But I won my appeal for the second live strike, which was surprising because I called them a bunch of idiots in my appeal. But I won, which left me with one live strike. Then the unthinkable happened. The appeal for my remaining strike had already been rejected. A bunch of you complained to at Team YouTube on Twitter. Special thanks to everyone who complained. One of you, Black Angel, actually got a response from Team YouTube. They told her they'd look into it, and a few hours later, that strike was overturned. So, in a very short amount of time, I went from two live strikes, and my channel's definitely coming down, to zero live strikes, and my channel seems temporarily safe. Everyone be sure to thank Black Angel in the comments section. Somehow she got through to YouTube. I have to point out, though, that after YouTube overturned that strike, I was actually even more ticked off at YouTube for two main reasons. First, they obviously know how much their system sucks. I win most of my appeals. Since I win most of my appeals, how reliable are these initial strikes, which are fueled quite a bit by mindless bots that are programmed to scour YouTube for community guidelines violations? If I win most of my appeals, then even according to YouTube, most of the strikes and video removals I get are bogus. They know this. YouTube, which rakes in billions of dollars per year, has a system for removing content and giving out strikes that's wrong, not just occasionally, it's wrong most of the time. It's usually wrong, even according to them, because they reverse most of them when you appeal. And yet, they'll use this system to take down your videos and give you strikes anyway, even though they know they're probably wrong when they do it. They have a guilty until proven innocent policy, even though they know that the system they use to determine your initial guilt is usually wrong. Then there's the appeals process. You might say, well, David, if you win most of your appeals, then the appeals process seems to work pretty well. No, it doesn't. Over the years, YouTube has taken down a ton of my videos and rejected a ton of my appeals, and with one exception, from a long, long time ago, where I actually violated a rule I didn't know about, they've been wrong every single time. So even though I win most of my appeals, I still lose a lot of them as well, and when they reject my appeals, they're almost always wrong. With me, they've been wrong every time for eight or nine years. I haven't violated any of their rules for eight or nine years, and they still keep taking down my videos for supposedly violating their rules. But notice, if you can get through to Team YouTube on Twitter, they're sometimes willing to take a second look at rejected appeals. This means they know that their appeals process isn't very reliable. And yet, it's almost impossible to get Team YouTube to take a second look at rejected appeals, even though they know that their appeals system is massively defective. Wiley Coyote could come up with a more reliable system than this. And this is the best system that YouTube and its parent company, Google, could come up with? Are you starting to lose confidence in the power of technology yet? These are the companies that control the flow of information in our world, and they are massively biased and dysfunctional. Second, most people who lose their appeals 
will never get Team YouTube to overturn those appeals. Your chances of getting Team YouTube to take a second look at your rejected appeal seems to be directly proportional to the size of the ruckus you can raise when they give you a bogus strike. In other words, the more viewers you can mobilize to complain to Team YouTube, the better your chances of getting your strike overturned. It's just basic math. If each complaint has a small chance of being noticed by Team YouTube, then a bunch of people complaining increases the chances that Team YouTube will notice one of them. But this means that smaller channels are usually screwed. Not always. You could get lucky and get a response from Team YouTube. But most of the time, smaller channels are just screwed, even though it's YouTube that's making the mistakes here. And that's just really, really messed up. YouTube is basically saying, if you have a smaller channel, we're going to take your content down and give you strikes using a ridiculous bot system that's wrong most of the time, even according to us. You're going to appeal those strikes, and you're going to lose some of your appeals, even if you haven't violated any rules. And when you try to complain about us giving you false strikes and rejecting your legitimate appeals, we're going to ignore you because you don't have a bunch of fans to complain for you. This is a horrible company, and it gets worse every year. I remember back in 2010 when if YouTube screwed up, you could just email them. And you'd get a response from a human being. Now, in 2021, they just don't care. They're too big to care. The bigger they get, the less they care. What are they going to be like two years from now? Five years from now? Ten years from now? What kind of dystopic future are we tweeting and commenting ourselves into? I don't know. But we won today. Let's see if we can figure out a way to keep winning. Now, on a different note, when I said that my channel was coming down, some of you keyboard jihadis started laughing and gloating in the comments section. You know what I do to the false prophets and false books of people who laugh and gloat when they think my channel is coming down. Don't you? This is a power of religion, there's a reason to it. Yeah?